Kaguna. My goodness, there's so many city-states on this map. Considering we had so many people, normally, the amount of city-states you get is negligible at best. It's like the game can have, what, 64 players or even less than that? I can't remember the exact amount. And, uh, like, one of them gets saved for three cities and one of them gets saved for Bob. So if you have 50 players, the amount of city-states you can have is limited to, like, practically zero. But... Yeah, I think we might have reached that, yeah, disabled point now, so we've reached that, uh, that stage. Oh, look, Geneva's still flipping. That's hilarious. My spy is finally done as well. Where are you, Canada? Where are you? Right. To, uh, I think to Winnipeg. Winnipeg's the best thing to do. Just confirm placement. We're going to go and steal, steal the Void Singers. That's the aim here. Ah yes, the AI. Both showing you how to play the game and how not to play the game. On the left you have an example of a work ethic holy site right next to the Sahara. I mean, that's amazing. And, and then you have an entertainment complex. What? Ugh. Why? Why did you do that? Come on, at least let's take a preserve there or something. Here is the Congo. Now I'm really hoping the Congo has been the one to be purchasing all of the artwork. Yes, it's them. Okay, good. Right, finding these Finding these guys, ah, oh, that is very handy. They really, really hate me. So there's the embassy and I'll put the open borders in quickly before they can tell me to go away and let's go trading. Okay, I'm gonna take pretty much everything they've got from them before they denounce me. Bam, great. That's five more pieces of ammunition here for me to just be like playing with, which is really, really good fun. I've got one more uh, thing of writing that I need, but that's okay. And where's my art? Where's, which art museum is best? I kind of would like to take Portugal out of the game because they really have so many grievances with me. So I'm going to stick everything in Madrid for now. I'm pretty sure one of the pieces of art has disappeared. For a friend with an like, what? Where's it gone? Did I? I definitely just bought three, right? If I have a look at the trade deal quickly. One, two. Yeah, David Peter. And Sistine Chapel. So, where's my third one gone? This is just a graphical thing? It could just be a graphical thing. Like, sometimes it... Ugh, damn, if that's disappeared, that's really annoying. <laughs> oh, well. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Apart from moan. Which is exactly what I'm going to do, actually, thinking about it. Just continually moan. Oh, I picked up Athens. Hello. I mean, that's a random pickup, but I love it. I dig it. That's that's great. Um, Alan Sai is being killed, unfortunately, but that's not very handy at all. Let me just switch to banking quickly. I'll just get that one in. Lovely. Okay, Athens. Really? Is that not going to stay with me? No, it's really not. Um, uh, Victor. To the Victor goes the Athens. It's fine. I think I can, I can build my way out of this one for now. So where is my next load of artists best placed? I'm so annoyed that that... <laughs> We lost a great you know, piece of artwork in Madrid. That's really, really, really annoying. I think in Arken. Shall I just stick them in Arken? Probably the best place for them. Mali. We must be close to meeting everybody now. I think I need one more person. One more person, probably. Be sure that colonialism doesn't give me anything. Nope, I have no cities outside of Europe right now, but that's okay. We don't mind that, really. Let's give myself... Raj, it's a little bit better than Diplomatic League, but I quite like the extra envoy I'm getting at the moment, so that's pretty cool. I wish this mod told you how many artist points you were getting. I know that it's quite a few because I've got like six museums or something like that, so my artist points are, are doing pretty well at the moment, and that's kind of like a big one for me. Great works of art, as um, Eleanor, makes such a huge difference, but you kind of just want to beeline them where you can. Let's get two more science city states good so that when I build these universities we're laughing she that's another source of wine that's uh, there's only I think two sources is enough for a monopoly so that will be in my second monopoly on the map so far I only know where one Wales is so got to find the second one but that could be another monopoly as well I was just having a look at the resources to see which ones I'm close to mercury is another one that I could probably put a bit of effort into finding or the mercury I mean I think I've improved most of the stuff in my actual empire, he says, immediately spotting two that haven't been improved. You know what? Sometimes I amaze myself with my own stupidity. Uh, I've just got a load more coal has appeared, actually, as well. So that's really cool. So that's underneath Oh, my theatre square. Perfect. That is in needs improving. Uh, that needs improving. That needs improving. And that already has been improved. Great. So my coal output is going to be pretty drastically awesome. 
we love it. And I know what some people are saying, Ryan, don't give resources like amenities to people like Scotland because they'll use them to keep their loyalty. And to that I say, yeah, I know. I know, but I can't bother to micromanage it to that level. And don't worry, Edinburgh will flip at some point. I think Edinburgh is currently in a... Uh, oh no, it's in a dark age, so, you know, it's me being stupid, but never mind, we'll, we'll, we'll get it at some point. Especially if I put Sterling, uh, Newcastle, and Nidoros onto food focus. There we go, you see, it's all good. Just gonna build some encampments for no reason whatsoever, and definitely has got nothing to do with these railroads. Don't worry about it, it's nothing to do with anything. It's very, very distracting right now to be filming this because I'm looking at my subscriber count and it's currently at 9998. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not distracting at all. No sorry. This mod, by the way, the Quick Deals mod, is invaluable on bigger games. It works really well on small games as well, but like you just stack up what you want to sell to people, and it's like, oh yeah, the world will give you this. And it's like, okay, brilliant. That's really, really handy, and it recalculates it every time, just make sure you're not losing out. It's wonderful. I would really recommend it. It's a fantastic non-gameplay changing mod, just a quality of life thing. Two more turns. Two more turns until we've got the spy in Canada. That's going to be such a useful thing. Oh, Geneva flipped. Oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that'll knock everyone's uh, science down a little bit. Someone will have had them as a suzerain. They would have been taking a large chunk of science from that, as well as everybody's envoys. But now it's mine. So, you know, screw you all. So looking at the people who are now in dark ages around me, you can see that Spain have gone into a dark age. Unfortunately, Portugal is now in a golden age, so that's going to be even harder to steal that. But um, Spain is, sorry, in a normal age. I should say Zulu. Rome is in a dark age. Dido. Doesn't matter about Dido. Okay, that's fine. So we might find it a little bit difficult to continue to spread our wares uh, for now. But I'm going to pick up monumentality this time um, because I've got 832 gold coming in per turn. That's plenty to be getting things like builders and settlers and all the stuff that comes with that, which is going to be extra spicy. Um, Madrid is now even worse than it was, unfortunately. We really need to get this city back on track. Let's stick in someone like Magnus. Magnus is probably going to not be quite enough, but hopefully we can keep the loyalty in that city. We just need to boost the population of a couple of the surrounding cities around it, like this one. Put yourself onto food focus, please. Thank you so much. And we'll go bam, bam, like that. Good. That'll spread the joy on that city a little bit more. Okay, that's 1,577% now from luxury resource monopolies. Okay. That's that's pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty big. Holy moly. Another great person. This time a writer. Excellent stuff. I haven't got a huge amount of space for great writers at the moment, but that's because I'm not void singers yet. That's the thing. You just wait. Void Singers are going to make this a lot easier because my great works of writing if you are going to be able to be put right to the front line. I've been massively held up by that. Um, increases diplomatic visibility with Canada by one. That now means, hopefully, fingers crossed, he says, we now have access to Secret, which should give me Void Singers. I think. I think. Pick up Nationalism just in case. And London, when you're done with this, I need you to get the Grand Master's Chapel, please. In fact, actually, the Intelligence Agency. Uh, now, that just makes spy operations have a higher chance of success. It doesn't actually increase the level of spies, so I don't need to worry about that for the purposes of getting diplomatic visibility. I can just do my thing. Oh, what? Come on. Oh, I was leading on Warsaw, and then Sweden just stole it literally the turn after. Also, um, Poland, we're not being particularly subtle here, are we? I'm not not enjoying this. There's Void Singers, by the way. Um, but yeah, come on, Poland. Come on. You've got to at least like pretend that you're not attacking. The first time in a long time, I'm not at war with anybody. Everyone's at peace. So... Not that I'm now going to just, you know, cruise through the diplomacy screen and just see if anybody wants to give me a bunch of gold. I mean, there's a couple of people with, like, large sums of gold at the moment, which would be exciting. Not many. I've kind of farmed most of the gold off most of the world. But it's 197 gold per turn going on here. Is there anyone that I could tempt you into, oh, a, a formal war with Poland? Oh, I see what India's doing here. 
Very sneaky. Very sneaky. Uh, I can't take the. I can't take that. Damn it. Um, never mind. Well, I mean, I'll take everything else from you. Uh, should we do that? And join ongoing war against John Curtin? Actually, no, I was at war with John Curtin. Ignore that. Ignore that. Um, okay, right, cool. Well, there we go. We're at war with Poland now. I mean, it was quite clear that you were coming for me, Poland. But at least now that, you know, now we've done this, the charade is sort of over, which is quite entertaining. Buying in things to London. There's a stable. There's an armory that boosts gunpowder, which I was just waiting off. And I think steam power is the other thing I needed to boost. Uh, I don't have any money right now, but look at all these luxury resources I've got to sell. Uh, does anyone want anything like this? Oh yeah, Sweden will take a bunch for a huge amount of gold up from. Again, Gilgamesh. Oh, Gilgabro. Always a reliable trade partner. And Egypt wants a bit. Yeah, they'll pay for it up front. Anyone that's paying up front can honestly just like do what they want. There's the Mayans, and you know what, let's just flog a little bit of the strategic. I'm just skimming off the top a little bit, make sure I don't hit my capacity. I've got so many lighthouses that things aren't really making a difference. There we go. And now I can come in and buy the shipyard and get the boost to steam power. Oh no, I need a second shipyard. Oh, terrible. I was, uh, I was ahead of myself there. The Gunpowder. Nice, that means we can go to metal casting. Get myself bombards and then head towards ballistics. Cool, we just got steam power and metal casting on the same turn. That's quite fun. Ballistics will give us field cannons. It'll help us to just fight things off a little bit. And another artist. Perfect. We can just keep cranking up the pressure. I just need to find a city that would be the best place for this. I think it's probably in Bologna or in Heidelberg. I'm going to put it in Heidelberg, I think. I never know how this dates these things, but it just went over 10,000, so I just got very excited and now I'm drinking a beer. Don't don't drink beer and take nationalism, kids. It's a terrible idea. Speaking of though, it's quite useful because now I can just sort of like combine all my troops. Make them super powerful, super strong. Yes. And where is it? Void singers, let me point. Thank you very much. Okay, so that gives me Old God Obelisks. What that does is it opens up a bunch more, like, great work slots, effectively. That's what it does. Uh, which means that things like my palace and stuff like that, I can start to move my things across to cities that make more of a difference. However, I do need to be a little stricter with where I put my things. So, like, for instance, Manchester as a city, yes, it might be in just about in range of Canada, like a little bit, but it's not really, so we're gonna just say no to that one. I'm being really strict about this actually, because yes, like Geneva for instance is in range of Rome, but it's like one city, so uh, my stuff is better in other places right now. Like Arken is the absolute dream team, if I can get it in that, then perfect stuff. And like in Bibrax, that's a really good place to put things as well. Cool though. That's awesome. And I've also got a musician as well. That's pretty cool. You can pop these anywhere because they can move to any city you want. But that should have just pressed a little bit more. Like it, it's going to take until next turn before we really see the true impact of it. Like Warsaw. Oh, now suddenly Warsaw is like kabamo. Yeah, I'm really, really hoping this is, uh, is going to pull the plug on a lot of enemy cities. Okay, right, right. I know, I know, I know, I know. Stop it. Oh, my God. It was like 20 people I had to scroll through there. Oopsie. I got lost to Athens. Never mind. We'll, um, we'll get that back at some point. Oh, I just put a load of great works in it, didn't I? Yeah, whoops. Never mind. Okay, I'm getting Athens back. That's good. That means the pressure I'm putting out is pretty intense. Minus 16. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Other effects. This is brilliant stuff. Okay, we, we like this. We like this a lot. I've also now have Chorus, which turns my 200 faith per turn into 40 gold, 40 science, and 40 culture. I mean, that just by itself is an insane ability. Oh yes. Now London has kind of got itself sorted on that front. Military engineer time. And this is why England are so good. Don't forget, it's because you get plus 100% production towards military engineers. They get two charges and you can build railways because you have so much iron and coal. Look at this. I've got 15 coal coming in. 16 improvements. Oh, from iron. Oh, just, oh I'm so excited. I, I shouldn't be this excited, but I am. And I am highly unapologetic about it. This great admiral just gives me straight up gold. So I'm gonna do it. Lovely. Ballistics is almost there. 
Oh, an upgrade to field cannons is really going to drive Poland's troops away because at the moment, I mean, they're just being more annoying than anything. I just want to see their land. Show me your land. I, I, I want to see how, how far have I got in terms of spreading my culture here. Surely this is good. I know I'm taking Rome. I know I'm taking both the Spain cities. Portugal is just holding out, which is very impressive. But I feel like I just need a couple more artists. Like another artist here, for instance. That's good. I'm spending all of my golden faith at the moment on just getting artists and, and, and musicians and stuff. And again, this is why England is so good compared to France. is because you've got gold for days to help yourself with this sort of thing. Kaguna, lovely. That means I've got... Oh, yeah, I, I forget I had the extra envoy, but that's good. A little bit more culture. 277 culture per turn. I'm also really, really winning a culture victory right now, which is quite funny. Oh, I did lose my other Monopoly because Athens was providing that to me, but never mind. Never mind. I will find someone like Athens, you, you could say. Circumnavigated the globe, everyone. Exciting times. Hercules did it himself. He was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm on a... I'm on an adventure. I want to find some trials, specifically like nine or ten of them. I, d I see. I was reading about Hercules and his trials the other day, weirdly enough, and it's a really interesting story because he's obviously went across and, according to Greek mythology, did all of this stuff. Right, he was out left, right, and centre, cleaning stables and slaying hydras and all this sort of stuff. But what I didn't realise is that the number of trials he had to do kept changing because they kept changing the rules for him like midway like it wasn't some sort of crazy king or like king who was really pissed off with him and just was like go and do all of these things and then he when he was going and just did them he was like oh did I say one thing I meant to or whatever like he changed it from like eight trials to ten or something like that or said that like was he cleaning the stables I think he was cleaning the stables and he, he moved the river get on our through knees. the stables so that the river cleaned out the stables or something like that and then it was like didn't count as him doing it or something. So I, it was something like that. I remember reading the story and being like, okay, it's quite funny. Quite like that. Sorry, that's the, the, the most long-winded thing that was like I read something and barely remembered it. That's essentially what that story was. Like, I should have remembered something and I didn't. So, sorry about that. <laughs> First military engineer. Let's get the rail connected in England and the UK because quite frankly in real life it needs an upgrade so seeing as that's never going to happen we'll do it in Civ instead. Ah, rail networks. The universal thing that anybody around the world can moan about and everyone sort of nods and goes ah yes, yes that's what it was. Oh, hello. Hello. The Incans have just gone to war with me. Ah, uh, was that it? A joint formal war. Oh, with Mapuche. Interesting. You're kind of in the middle of nowhere, but but sure. I'll take it. I mean, I've got no one around you. As you know, I had a galley. Maybe they're after my galley. Oh, is that what it is? They saw the galley and they got jealous and they were like, nope. Teddy's got a military emergency. Oh, dear Teddy. What are you doing? Oh, and uh, Hercules is dead. That's a real shame. We will never see his like again in, until... Two turns time, when I will summon him immediately back from the dead. I will go and find his bones, and I will dredge them from the ground and reanimate him in some sort of horrific necrophile-like ceremony with necromancy and the undead and all kinds of horrible stuff. I got Athens back, by the way, as well. Um, not that that does anything, because I'm still, like, I have no... <laughs> I've got nothing. Nothing here. Literally nothing I can do to keep it. Apart from taking Polish cities, which I'm really, really trying to do and just failing at utterly. Right, come on. Show me a city. Buda. Rebels in one turn. Oh, thank God. Okay, Portugal. Uh, sorry, Poland is Portugal. I keep saying Portugal. Poland is about to capitulate. Good, 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 good. I was really worried that that was taking far too long. Also, as cool as public works are, I'm really not getting enough to justify it. So, Republican legacy. Uh, all those extra amenities are going to massively help my loyalty per turn because I was losing quite a bit of it because of the amenity penalty. Turns out when you spread around the world like this, you, uh, you forget to actually fuel your cities with happiness, which is always a little bit unfair. Just rocking up to the international market with 300 strategic resources. Who wants some? 33 gold per turn so far. Anyone else want to pop up? That's another 30, so we're up to 63 gold per turn. Nobody else want anything more? Nobody else wants anything more? Oh, no, there we go. There's another 6 gold per turn. That's 70 gold per turn so far. 
Uh, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. There's another 30 gold per turn, so that's 100 gold per turn. I'm not even getting the maximum amount. People are just like unable to provide. It's 125 gold per turn now. There's another 25. 132 gold per turn just by selling essentially <laughs> the, the resources that we're going to expire next turn because I've got, got too much coming in. Ah, yes. England is so balanced. Oh, what's that, Mayans? You're gonna you're gonna settle here, are you? You you, you want those bananas, do you? Yoink! <laughs> Sucks to be you. Let's get flight so that I can get radio, get aluminium, seaside resorts, and broadcast centers. Broadcast centers being the important one here because I need places to put my music. Quickly, ladies and gentlemen, look to the eastern line. You'll see the court of love or on the horizon, coming at great speed. Now. Boasted by broadcast centers, spreading the love music, a horrible thing that has been developed purely for this war. Quick, put your masks on, keep your loved ones safe, and stand where the love music can't see you. It's going to be difficult, but there are you boys on the front line, you'll be fine. Go, go get them. Personally, I think I missed my calling. I should have been part of British Path, the, you know, the, the old British station that used to do all the war correspondence. Like, I would have been perfectly suited to that. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trevor Askby, Paul Coffey, Senjit, Kroger Brand, Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, and Portland for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who comments and likes. Thank you!